be learning uh, garbage man mambo and I'm finally playing like a normal person with an amplifier and yeah let's get started um I just wanted to say that this song is super super simple and um we'll just have to learn two kind of riffs so to say and again my intention is not to like play just the same way Courtney or other band members played I just play the way I know and I share it with you guys so if you like it then try to just try to learn it if you don't like it Okay, I think there are plenty of uh, other videos, such tutorials. Okay, so the first thing we're going to play is, of course, the intro and the verse. The same thing goes for both. Let's um, play the, the first part in a very slow way. Okay. D5, right? And then you just have to slide and you have this E5 chord. So what we do is the following. Alright, again. So just slide real quick. And um so when you have done this thing, you Play this two times. Replay the chord for two times. Um, like. Okay? Just like this. Alright? And then you move your fingers in this chord. It is C5. So you have your first finger on the eighth, eighth fret. Yeah. Okay, just like this. So, and here begins like the fast part. So let's see what it is. practice try it several times all right and after you have played this part you go here so you have your first finger on your third fret okay all right so let's see what, what we have You have already heard the song for so many times and you already know the rhythm so you just have to learn the technique and then it just just becomes really easy so let's do it again okay. Right. 
So you play in here three times. Then you go, you have this chord, E minor. Yeah, my favorite chord because that's the easiest one to play. Um, and um, yeah. And you actually, in this part, you have these two chords. You just play them. So, um, yeah, so we're in this position. We play it three times, three times. Then we go to E minor, we play twice. Then again, G5 once, E minor twice. So, again, G5 three times, E minor twice. G foul once, E minor twice. Okay? Um, so let's see what we have in this case. I'll just play the whole thing first. Okay, let's see. Just remember the rhythm because I feel like the, the, um, the greatest, so to say, the biggest difficulty in this thing and all these songs is just the rhythm because there is nothing really difficult technically. So just um, follow it and just practice because when you first, you know, when you see the tabs and you try to follow them, you feel like Wow, no, there's definitely a mistake because that's not the way it sounds like in the song or I just can't play it. I feel like it's not rhythmical at all, but actually it is because um, you just have to practice and you just have to understand. It, it doesn't come like, you know, when you um, just start playing, you just have to play for a while. You have to try to practice. And then we'll see that everything is actually correct. So let's concentrate on the last part. Basically, this one, I'm sorry, this one, and this one. Okay, 
So I just play it to you first. First, of course, I need to explain it. So, um, we already played this chord, right? E5. So, what you do is, um, oh, sorry. So, um, you just play like this. Um, so first you play just like a normal chord, then you just cover like the strings so they make an empty sound, right? They make an empty sound. Alright? And you just do it immediately right after playing like the chord normally, like this. Okay? And what I do, uh, what do I do? Oh yeah, so first I play like the chord normally, then I play like the empty sound with these strings, and then I first play again these empty strings, the empty sound, and then I play the chord normally. So you just reverse it like this. All right. So you have normal chord, empty, empty, normal chord, okay? Just like this. So let's do it again. That's the most difficult part from this course. Yeah, so we play normal chord, empty sound, empty sound, normal chord, normal chord, okay? Uh, normal chord, empty, empty, normal, normal. So, look at it. Okay, one more time. So we have normal, empty, empty, normal, normal, and then we already have this chord C5 chord, so our first finger is on the um, A fret. So let's see what we have. but that's pretty much the whole course, all right? And, um, well, that's pretty much it, guys. Thank you very much for watching. I hope it was useful, and uh, leave your comments below because I do appreciate your feedback, and I try to improve my videos. And by the way, one girl asked to play a long song for a better understanding, so let's try to play along the song. So I just do... The, the verse and, and the chorus, of course. Yeah. The chorus, of course. Okay. Let's try to do this. Try to play the chorus. Okay. And of course, to be honest, I'm sorry for my. I'm not that consistent, so to say, I always change the patterns just because I don't know why it's always different, but. I don't think it's a problem, you just choose the pattern you like most. 
So thanks for watching. Bye guys.